Hey guys, Justin here in the Mars Hydro Veg tent and we've got an empty tent, a box, and some tools. What do you think it could be? It looks like another unboxing video. This one again from Mars Hydro. Look at this thin box here. This thing is definitely a little bit thinner than I thought was going to show up. Goes all the way edge to edge on the tent in this four foot tent. We're hitting about a hundred and hundred eleven micromoles from the TS-1000 all the way up here all the way down to the floor not too bad not too bad but yeah let's uh, let's bust open to this box and see uh, see what we got inside here this is from uh, Mars Hydro Amazon the Amazon store so it should be I'm guessing probably double boxed the rest of them were were double boxed up pretty well let's see what we got going here Oh, nope, this one isn't double boxed. That's why it was so thin. I was expecting a way bigger box, because usually they're double boxed. Let me get in here. All right, so what do we got? First off, SP200, one of the most powerful lights with the most intense uniform footprints available on the market superior yields and high quality flowers thanks to a whole bunch of shit <laughs> that's cool well let's see if it'll match those numbers what's it say 465 why is it so hot in the middle that's really weird because it should be long like it should that's kind of a weird thing to me I don't know We'll figure it out. What's on the back? Oh yeah, look at that. Meanwhile driver. Gotta feature that on there. Actually using real parts. Look at that. Hell yeah. That's why I'm interested in this light. That is really, this is the end game for me. This light right here from them. That's why I've taken the Eco 600. That's why I took that little square light. That's why I took the TS-1000. I had to jump through all those hoops to get to this. This is really what I wanted from the start, was this, because it's the only thing that Mars makes that has a Meanwell driver that I know of. Now they have another unit that uses Cree diodes. Now if they take this Meanwell driver and make a unit with this driver and those Cree diodes, damn, they would be really cooking with gas at that point. But we're gonna see how this thing goes, because I like the fact that it has a Meanwell driver. Everything that I have that has a Meanwell driver kicks ass. So let's uh, see what we got here. Man. That is a lot of beautiful little diodes all in a row. You got a red one spaced in there every so often. Definitely a few different colors mixed in, I'm guessing. Uh, cool white, warm white, with some red mixed in. Other side, more of the same. Really, really clean looking light. There's the particulars in the middle. If anybody wants to take a look. But yeah. I don't think there's a whole lot else in the box besides power cord. Oh no, looks like there's some rope ratchets in there. But I'll have to pull the light out to get to them. So uh, let, me, uh, let me get rid of the box here and uh, I'll get the light going. All right, here we are. The light is out of the box. This thing is cool looking, man. I gotta tell you. Reminds me of some of the uh, the big ass cooling heat sinks that I used to have for uh, for all the custom CPUs that I used to build. All the custom towers. 
Just need some uh, some LED uh, LED fans. <laughs> Take a look at the back side here. This light now. See, this light actually has a real deal heat sink. Like a lot of people were shitting on this one here. I mean, the board itself is basically the heat sink, a lot like the HLGs, and then also the outer uh, reflector there is used as the heat sink as well. But this thing has a full-on heat sink, and this is metal right here. That's not any sort of plastic or anything. So this whole thing is metal. They got the Mars Hydro logo nicely cut out there. It's a nice looking light. It's a really nice looking light. Here's the driver that they include. You guys want to take a look at that. Meanwhile driver, the real deal. I mean this this light is uh is impressive. Like I said, this is the reason why I've been taking all these Mars lights. It's because I wanted to get this son of a bitch in my hands. And get a good look at it. See the construction, the build quality. I just want to know what this light's about. It is, it is quite heavy. I will say that. With the driver and the heat sink and everything, this thing is, uh, yeah. It's not like, I mean, obviously I'm lifting it with one arm. I'm not like He-Man or nothing. Um, it's probably, if I had to guess, I don't know, 10, 12 pounds, maybe. It's, uh, it's got some weight to it. Make sure I don't touch the diodes there. You don't want to get uh, any sort of your uh, finger oils or anything on the diodes. Although, this light boasts, and as you can see, I don't know if I can get a good angle at it. You can see kind of the the sheen off of these. There, it, this whole light's supposed to be waterproof. Whether or not I'm going to test that, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go spraying water on my new light. But yeah. Looking pretty sick. Let's uh oh yeah, what do we what do we got here? Power cord. Everything there. No no dimmer. It doesn't look like it has any sort of dimmer attached to it. Imagine you could probably put one in line. And then we got the hanging kit. Looks like a couple of the uh, end attachments. And some rope ratchets. Pretty much all you need. Sweet, sweet. So let's uh, go ahead and get this hung up in here. Uh, get it fired up. And we'll get some, uh, some power readings going. Alright, we are back and hooked up. We got it hanging. Hooked up to the... Uh, the watt meter and man this sucker is killing it it is bright it is super bright and uh, not only is there some red in there but it looks like there's a UV tucked in there every once in a while that purple one there there's some reds here and there you can see the the cool white and the warm white but you got a little bit of UV tucked in there that's kinda cool So now let's take a look at the uh, this brochure here. This is uh, again the the brochure that they included. It's got a lot of uh, technical specs here. I'll let you guys pause the screen and read if you uh, care to read it. But I did notice that they say that it's at 18 inches, it's 465 micromoles. So we'll see how that pans out. It says the wattage is uh, around 196 watts on 120, which is what I'm on right now. We got the uh, Epistar diodes, meanwhile driver of course, right there. And then it has some comparisons down here. 
to SP200, 350 watt HPS, a couple of SP200s, or no, three SP200s it says there, versus like say, double ended HPS. So there's some comparison stuff they have. Here's the uh, Spectrum, if anybody's interested. And now let's see, uh, let's see what I get from all this stuff. So, bust out the tape measure. We are at 20 inches. That's all the way across. 20 inches, 20 inches, yep, all the way down. So, let's see, I'm going two inches higher than what they said. Let's see what we got. Five seventeen. That's two inches higher, putting out like 50 micromoles more than what they said. Are you telling me that Mars has begun to underrate their lights? And you can see me sliding this to the side. We're all the way over here at the edge now. Still 400 at the very, very edge. You're still going to get nice bud growth, even at 400. You really want to be in the 500s though, or higher. At 20 inches, that's pretty good, man. I gotta say, let's uh, let's bring it over to the edge here. Well, it depends on which way I do the reflection here. You can see how much the reflection affects it. If I go no reflection, 396. If I go max reflection, 500. So yeah, when this tent's closed, like it's it's closed, it's gonna be straight up like this. It's still 526 on the edge. That's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. Very very corner. Let's hit the the fucking corner. Like the worst part in the whole tent. Look at that. 450 in the worst part of the tent. I'm telling you, man, this light is gonna kill it in a two by four tent. This light is going to kill it. You're gonna get excellent results at 20 inches. You go down to 18, you're definitely gonna be in the 500s all around this tent, which is absolutely excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna drop this down a couple of inches here and uh, we're gonna take some more readings. This is, uh, this is a killer. I had a feeling this is gonna be a nice setup, man. This is the Mars uh, 2x4 tent, and they have this killer reflecting, or reflection material. This awesome, awesome, almost like a diamond mesh, and it is reflective as hell. And uh, yeah, this thing's gonna kill it in a 2x4, absolutely kill it. But let's uh, drop this down. Um, I'm gonna go 18 inches and we'll take some readings there. All right, I've got this dropped down to 18 inches. 18 inches. All the way across. Oh, it might be just a tick higher. Maybe I'll move this side up one. Just one tick. I wanna make sure it's nice and even. 18 Yeah, there we go. Now we're even on both ends 100% even So let's see where we're at 18 inches Five sixty six two seven four sixty something mid five sixties That is excellent you're gonna get very, very nice performance, very, very nice bud growth at 560. All the way to the edge, 435, still gonna get nice bud growth. Yeah, this thing's gonna hammer it all the way 
There's the edge, the very, very corner. Look at that. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I am as impressed with this thing as I thought I would be. Absolutely amazing. Heat, the driver is slightly warm. I mean, it hasn't been on that long. This, slightly warm. It's naughty, it's, yeah, that's slightly warm. That's not even warm, that's not even hot. Same thing over here, just slightly warm. I'm gonna let this thing warm up uh, for a couple of hours, and then I'm gonna take some heat readings with the, uh, the heat gun. Because right now, I don't think it's anywhere near its, uh, its full heat capacity. I do want to take some, uh, some readings on here. Man, this thing is gorgeous. I gotta tell you. I am, uh, I'm impressed, Mars. I'm impressed. You got the Meanwhile driver. Still using the Epistar LEDs, though. I wish, uh, they would, uh, they would get into the, the Krees or Osram or something like that, you know? But, uh, it is what it is. Baby steps, you know? Baby steps are good. It's a nice looking light. Killing the game. Good readings all the way around. Let's try the edge too. Uh, did I even try the edge? This edge. Yes, yeah, so you know, if your tent's closed, the wall's going to be straight. Yeah, 550 even at the edge. 500. Yeah, this this is ridiculous, man. 540, 536. This thing is just gonna kill it. Just gonna hammer it. Oh yeah, and let's uh, let's take a look at the uh, the wattage too that we're drawing. I've got the uh, the watt meter going up here. 221 watts at the wall. Total draw. None of it is fan power. There is no fans on this unit. It is a fanless LED unit pulling 221 watts of flat out LED greatness. Hell yeah. I, I'm, I'm super impressed. I gotta say, if, uh, if these diodes hold up over time, this is gonna be a one hell of a contender in the 4x2 tent space. It's uh, $259. $259. That is not bad at all. To cover a 4x2 space with this kind of a, uh, this kind of par rating, with this low of wattage. I mean, this is only a couple hundred watts, man. That's ridiculous. 221. Yeah, 221. Absolutely ridiculous. I accidentally shut my camera off there. <laughs> I'm too excited. Yeah, I don't know, man. I give this thing a uh, a very high rating. I, I don't do like stars or thumbs up or anything like that. But uh, if you're looking for a light that's gonna cover a four x two tent and smash it out of the park, I really think this is gonna do it. And for two hundred fifty nine dollars, I honestly don't know where you're gonna find a better deal. Like, that's, that's what Mars has always done. Like, they've always made it so tough for everyone else to compete. Because they, they do cut corners here and there. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna contest. People get mad at me say, acting like I'm saying that Mars is using all top of the line parts and they're a friggin' top shelf company and this and that. And No, they're a budget light. And they always have been and they probably always will be because that is their market that is what they're targeting is new growers people starting out and people that don't have a ton of money to invest into lights I mean everybody wants to get an HLG V2 all that shit the 550s man those things are fucking 12 1300 bucks man even the V1 is like eight or nine hundred bucks if you don't got that kind of money to invest this is where you gotta go is to Mars a lot of times and in the past, they've had a lot of uh, they've had a lot of hits and misses, you know. Maybe sometimes more misses than hits, but I really do think that this is going to be a hit. 
I mean, you've got a good quality driver behind everything. Supplying really nice, even, distributed power to all this stuff. So hopefully it's going to keep the diodes running. It really depends on how high or how hard they're pushing these diodes. It's not dimmable or anything, so I can't, I can't really like crank it up. Uh, the uh, the TS one thousand though, I saw someone else's unboxing video. You can actually crank that thing up. I think somebody had it cranked up to like a hundred and sixty five watts or something like that. I think that thing would spontaneously combust if you left it there. But uh, this. Still cool, but yeah, let's uh, let's let this thing run for a few hours, and we'll uh, we'll come back here and hit it with the uh, the laser temp gun. See what kind of readings we get off of it. All right, it's been a couple of hours here. Let the light warm up. Give it a quick touch test. Oh yeah, that's definitely much hotter than it was before. That is uncomfortable and ouch, that is hot. Uh, so the driver definitely gets hot. Uh, this is not bad though. Yeah, this is this is touchable. This is not bad at all. So the driver gets pretty warm. Let's take a look at the uh, turn on the uh, light on that so you can see Let's see where the driver's sitting at. One forty-six. One. 37 on the cooler end of it. Looks like there's a warm end and a cool end. So yeah, about, about the same as my uh, my Rapid LED one. Basically, I think that one was running 150-ish, uh, 160, somewhere in there. I'll have to go back and check the video. Uh, let's take a look uh, here on the, the black part. What are we getting there? 106, 107. Get down a little lower. If I can hit that very bottom piece, yeah, that one's pretty hot. 120. This this piece right here that actually has the LEDs attached to it, that's pretty hot. But these fins are barely, barely just a little bit warm, you know. 120. Outer edge 119 middle 135 the black part in the very center 120 let's go for uh, underside are we sitting on the diodes here it's not 84 there we go 137 So yeah, pretty decent. Not uh, not too hot, especially on the ends here. 100 degrees is not bad at all. Not bad at all. 100 degrees, 120, 86. Highest parts of the driver, about 145 is about as high as I can get it to top out at 145. So yeah, really good. And uh, someone had mentioned something about this here. It's supposed to be used at like 14 inches. And they're, oh, it's not going to be accurate or whatever. Uh, just to let you know, it doesn't really change much. Like, it just changes because I move it. Like, there's pushing it. Like, it's all the way up against the damn side. 85. I bring it out. Now look how far away I am. It only went to 84. So yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really matter that much. Somebody's telling me that I was going to be way inaccurate, and it, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. That person was really dumb. Um, a lot of people think they know a lot more than they really do, and they like to tell me about it. Wow, just one last little thing to throw in here. I'm just uh, setting this up to, uh, to put a bunch of plants in here now, so I'm setting the height. I'm at about uh, four and a half feet. And I'm getting 246 on the floor. That's enough to veg with, man. This thing can veg at four and a half feet off the ground. Four and a half feet off the canopy. That is killer. 
Hell yeah. So yeah, good readings. Good readings on the par. Par readings are killing it. I'm impressed with this light. I'm definitely impressed with this light. Overall, um, it's a good light, man. It's gonna rock a 4x2 tent with only a couple hundred watts. Here it's been warming up. 219 watts, 220. After being on for a couple hours, that's what it's drawing. I mean, this is, uh, man, it's just nice. I don't know what else to say. Mars did a good job on this one. I gotta give it to him. I really do. Uh, like I said, this was uh, this is why I was taking all these Mars lights, man. I wanted to check this thing out, and uh, it, it's everything that uh, that I thought it would be. To be quite honest, I thought this was a pretty good design, pretty good setup, and it uh, it tests out well. So I hope you guys like the uh, the unboxing video and everything. Make sure you give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, hopefully we'll get some more uh, unboxing videos coming out your way. Till next time, guys. Happy growing.